Hi, this is Daniel DeToro. Are you concerned many foods you thought were healthy are bad for you? In this video, I'll share what are nutrients, what are anti-nutrients, some common anti-nutrients and their health risks, and health benefits of anti-nutrients. First, let's begin with what are nutrients. There are six major nutrients, carbohydrates, protein, fat, vitamins, minerals, and water. You may be surprised that water is on this list, but you can survive weeks, even months without food, but you can only survive a few days without water. Nutrients are essential for growth and a healthy life. Nutrient deficiencies can cause serious illness and even be life-threatening. In most cases, the cause is not anti-nutrients, but a deficiency of nutrients. So what are anti-nutrients? While nutrients provide what you need to live and grow, anti-nutrients block the absorption of nutrients. In theory, a diet high in one or more anti-nutrients could cause one or more vitamin or mineral deficiencies. To date, there are no anti-nutrients known to block the absorption of carbs, fats, and protein. And current research indicates anti-nutrients block the absorption of minerals, but not vitamins. In developed countries, most nutrient deficiencies are usually caused by diets poor in essential nutrients. For example, a diet high in sodium and low in potassium, or a diet high in protein and low in iodine or vitamin C. Some common anti-nutrients include glucosinolates, lectins, oxalates, phytates, saponins, and tannins. Glucosinolates may prevent iodine absorption. They are commonly found in cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cabbage, leafy greens like kale, and radishes. Iodine is essential for thyroid function. Iodine deficiency causes goiter and hormone imbalances. Some symptoms of goiter are swelling at the base of your neck, a tight feeling in your throat, coughing, hoarseness, and difficulty swallowing or breathing. Some sources of iodine include seafood, eggs, iodized salt, dairy products, and grains. In the United States, the RDA for adults is 150 micrograms per day. A popular anti-nutrient on the low-carb diet circuit are lectins. Lectins are supposed to prevent absorption of calcium, iron, phosphorus, and zinc. They are found in beans, peanuts, soybeans, and whole grains. Iron, calcium, phosphorus and zinc are essential nutrients for a healthy life. Deficiencies can cause serious illness. The recommended dietary allowance is as low as 8 milligrams for iron and as high as 1200 milligrams for calcium. That's not surprising since calcium is required for healthy bones and teeth. Here are a few food sources for iron, phosphorus, calcium, and zinc. Iron deficiency causes reduced hemoglobin production and anemia. Some symptoms of anemia include fatigue, weakness, and dizziness or headaches. Oxalates are up there with lectins when it comes to bad anti-nutrients. The concerns are that it can bind to calcium and prevent calcium absorption and that most kidney stones are calcium oxalate. Oxalates are found in leafy green vegetables and tea. I've already covered the RDA and importance of calcium. The next anti-nutrient 
is phytates. Phytates can reduce the absorption of calcium, iron, magnesium, and zinc. They're found in beans, some nuts, seeds, and whole grains. The adult RDA for magnesium is about 300 milligrams for females and 400 milligrams for males. High magnesium foods include almonds, spinach, cashews and peanuts, soy milk, black beans, avocados, and yogurt. Saponins, found in beans and whole grains, appear to interfere with normal nutrient absorption. Tannins in tea, coffee, beans, and wine may decrease iron absorption. The key word here is that they may decrease iron absorption. It doesn't mean that they prevent iron absorption. At this time, it is not known how much nutrient loss is due to anti-nutrients. If tannins in coffee and tea severely decreased iron absorption, millions of heavy coffee and tea drinkers would have iron deficiency anemia. A diet high in glucosinolates should cause high rates of goiter. Fad diets and dietary supplement sellers want you to believe everyone is at risk of severe nutrition deficiencies due to plant food anti-nutrients. For example, one cup of raw spinach has about 30 milligrams of calcium and about 200 milligrams of oxalate. That may make spinach a poor source of calcium, but spinach has fiber and other essential nutrients like iron. There are many calcium-rich foods without oxalates. Not only is the effect of anti-nutrients unknown, the amount and effect can vary by individuals. Some variables include metabolism, how foods are prepared, and how foods are cooked. Some anti-nutrients appear to have health benefits. Fad low-carb diets use anti-nutrients to justify eliminating what they claim are toxic plant foods marketed as healthy foods. They accentuate the negative and ignore the positive. They fail to tell people that cooking removes or deactivates lectins, phytates, and glucosinolates. There are people who leave comments like, if a food must be cooked to be safe, you should not eat it. That limits low-carb dieters to nuts and seeds. Another fact fad diets ignore is that anti-nutrients only affect nutrients absorbed at the same meal. Eating a dinner high in anti-nutrient foods does not affect nutrient absorption after breakfast or lunch. A calcium supplement taken at breakfast is not affected by lectins, oxalates, and other anti-nutrients in your lunch or dinner. Studies of vegetarians eating diets high in anti-nutrient foods found no pattern of iron or zinc deficiencies. While phytates can decrease the absorption of iron, zinc, and magnesium, they can also lower cholesterol, slow digestion, and decrease blood glucose spikes. Some anti-nutrient facts are they are substances that can prevent or decrease nutrient absorption. They are primarily found in plant foods. Some can be deactivated before eating. Metabolism and food preparation affects anti-nutrient absorption. There is no firm evidence that they cause essential mineral deficiencies and some anti-nutrients like phytates may have health benefits. Myths include so-called healthy plant foods like kale and spinach are loaded with toxic anti-nutrients. Two ways to avoid anti-nutrients is by eating a low-carb diet 
or by taking anti-nutrient blocking dietary supplements. And my research shows you will become severely ill or die eating toxic plant foods. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.